everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So, I got a little bit of bad news. We go to the navigation star map, it looks like Jade Falcons don't have anything left in clan space. So, clan wolf, clan wolf, clan wolf, they pretty much routed Falcon out of here. Wolf and Viper are fighting here, but it looks like Steel Viper is going to go down shortly. Um, we've got um, Smoke Jaguar over here still that's holding out fairly well, not bad. Uh, these are, I think, um, Diamond Shark which is holding out. So it looks like Jade Falcon has lost pretty much all of its holdings here. So doing missions for the Falcon will be very difficult. Uh, but someone brought up the the idea that there are sort of a, there is kind of a pirate faction in the clans. It's I guess it's called the Dark Cast. And what they basically are is the outcasts from normal clan society. Um, they're not really recognized, but they are known. So we're going to become part of the Dark Cast, basically pirates. And because the clans, our Jade Falcon clan has gone down, we're going to kind of be the last of the Falcons, I guess. So we're going to take some missions against um, against as many um, clan wolf um, as we can. It looks like wolf is the ones that eliminated Falcon. So we're going to be moving against the wolf whenever we can. Um, but right now, we, our more immediate problem is that we need to get money for our financial report. So uh, we still have a few days. We've got like 19, I think. What are we at here? 25 days. So we got a bunch of time before we... Uh, uh, need to do our financial report. So we're going to go to the command center. We're still here on the same planet. Um, so what I think we're going to do today is we're going to take uh, insurrection protection. Um, so it looks like Clan Wolf is going to be going after um, some Steel Viper leadership here. Or, uh, sorry, um, where is it here? Uh, so they're going to be targeting some people so that... Um, uh, Clan Steel Viper wants us to get them off the planet, so we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to give them an escort mission against Clan Wolf. We're going to negotiate this, and we're going to go full salvage. Um, this will cover our drop costs, but not repairs. I'm hoping we can pick up some good stuff out of the salvage. Uh, now thinking about it, maybe we should go this route. Yeah, maybe. Just in case, drop and repairs. Uh, let's Let's roll the dice and go this route and accept. All right, so we're going to go with our standard lance. Now, I did have to pull some stuff out of the adder. I pulled some double heat sinks out. Uh, the Grinner's been re-outfitted. Uh, we were only able to put one medium pulse in, but I did put a heavy medium laser in it, so it's back up and running. Um, the Cougar is still good. We were able to put... Um, yeah, I think this guy just had the engine damage. Um... So we're, our mechs are back up and running. Um, I did change the loadout on the Stormcrow a little bit. We got the TTS weapons in here. What I did is I pulled the um, uh, Fire Control Advanced System um, out of the adder and put it in here so I could um, use the, uh, um, where is it here, the TTS weapon system on here. So it's going to give us a plus two accuracy with ranged weapons. So that's kind of a bonus. So we'll get that in here. So let's deploy this and see if we can get this done. Okay, here we go. Looks like there's a lance challenging us here right at the very beginning. Should have brought a coat. Yeah, you're in a heated cockpit. I don't know what you're, what you're worried about. All right, so we got to grab the guys from here. And usually they break apart when they cross the water here, but we got to get them all the way over here. Um, if there's a secondary lance attack, um, I think they come across here. And then once the main guy shows up, there's two mechs that show up here and two that show up up here. So this map is not that bad. So let's get Griff moving forward. Um, we got to turn before we spot these guys. So I want to use the hill here and get some height if we can. Also add some heat as we go across the geothermal because, you know, that's important. Yeah, I still think they should get waypointing in here. Unless they have it, I don't know of anything about it, which is, you know, possibility. Just never seen any uh, information on that. It'd be nice if we could do waypointing, though. Standing by. See, just... Whatever. Pulse. Moving forward. No target. So that heavy medium laser, not quite as good as the pulses, but it'll give us a bit of a punch. 
what do we got here? Jenner, 2CV. Wow, we all go at the same time, eh? So Grip's got the speed and armor. Let's get him in first. I'm interested to see what our targeting is going to be like here. So what else do we got down here? Epona, 50 ton, Zora light tank. I have no idea what's on it. All right, well, is this, this is the machine gun version with almost no armor. Okay, cool. So let's hammer him hard. Much better chances to hit here, but, you know, he hasn't moved, so... Plus 25 heat. Okay, birdie. Quick stepping it. Should be able to shred this guy. Looks like there's only three guys here, unless there's someone that's hidden. Um, uh, firing. I'll do it, Jay. Um, I think I want to save the ATMs more than anything. So let's get you in next. We're going to use the ATMs on the uh, opponent here, I think. So let's hammer this guy. Nice. I was just about to say, oh, there's three pilot hits, but he's dead. He's dead. El Duce. Nope, we gotta see the opponent. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. He says, hmm. Um, I don't know if we need more than normal ammo on this guy. Well, we'll see here in a second. 100 armor. We're doing 8 per shot at times 24 plus the medium pulses. Uh, let's split it. Let's go um, HE on the ATM 6s just so we got enough of a punch. We'll smash through this guy here. Okay. Looks like he had streaks and looks like he had medium pulses too, which is good. Good that he's down. Maybe we can pick some of these up. One tiny hit. Okay, we're gonna initiate this early. Commander. Uh, we're pretty much set up, ready to go. Uh, this is a light tank, so he's got like no armor. So we're gonna switch back to uh, normal ammo. And yeah. That guy's pretty much done. Uh, let's get. Blockade with the LRMs. We're going to use use him to activate. We might be able to pull through this one relatively quickly. Depends on how fast these vehicles are too, right? So I want you up further. Because you got shorter range weapons. And they are clan medium pulses, so they're not that short. Let's get Griff into here. So they have some place to move to. All right, cool. Here we go. So an Indira, another Indira. Oh, Indra, sorry, not Indira. I was wondering why would they name, out, <laughs> name them after Indira Gandhi. It's kind of a strange thing to do. AP Gauss Rifle, B Pod, uh, Plasma Rifle. It doesn't look like we've got another Lance up here. But let's just go and check and be sure. Yeah, I think we're good. So we got to decide which mech. I want to get a Beagle Probe and I want to get um, one of those range finders uh, on a Scout mech to give us more uh, view up uh, close. Uh, because I think that's the one thing that we're lacking right now is a nice Go. scout mech. Uh, I'm not sure which mech I want to do that with yet. Um, All right. Full speed. 
It's either we're either going to refit the Cougar uh, and pull the LRMs off and maybe go with streaks um, and use that as the um, scout mech, or we'll do it with the um, the Grinner. I don't want to do it with the Grinner. The Grinner is kind of working really well right now, um, so I'm kind of really hesitant to mess up that um, that loadout. But if we do do it, uh, if we can pick up like a like another medium pulse laser or something to max the Grinner out again. Um, then I think the Cougar is probably the best way to go. I think getting the um, I think getting the um, LRMs replaced with streaks is probably a good thing. Yeah, so we don't have anything in the second leg here. So yeah, if we replace the LRM, LRMs with streaks, um, that'll give us an advantage right there. Better chances to hit. We have to be closer for them, and I think they don't fire unless they're going to hit with the clan version, which is, you know, awesome. We won't waste ammo. Um, and um, so that, that'll be good. And then um, we'll have the Beagle Probe and um, the Range Finder, so we'll be able to spot our enemies a lot quicker. And with uh, Griff's um, ECM should be able to just like sit back be able to spot them and shoot from a distance that's when things like the er mediums are going to come in really handy god see what i mean about these guys getting bogged down in the water here don't need to go very far this is where they all get separated now commander i'm there you're here you're there you're everywhere yep. Uh, I just walk into the water. Hope we're not blocking them too much there. Aye, aye. El Duce, let's get up here. Just gonna reserve. Let's let these vehicles move first. Standing by. Okay, it looks like they're staying together. For, oh, that guy's not. Yeah, they're going to start breaking apart now. Not much we can really do about it. Uh, I think we can leave El Duce in the road. Maybe we just block them for a bit till they can get together. Um, okay, that should be spread out enough, I think. Yeah, so I got a couple of varied comments. Well, not really varied comments. A couple of comments about um, reloading in uh, episode 21 um, after that fail. Um, yeah, just so everyone knows, I just want to explain really why I did it. If you haven't read the comments. Um, so it's a, it's a tricky situation when you reload. Now, if, you're, if I'm playing solo, I never reload. Like if, if I get wiped or I'm down to two mechs, I keep going based on what I've got left. I got no problem with that, uh, but I am running a series, so um, it's a little tougher, right? Because, like, let's say, for instance, I lost the two. Like, if I lost the Stormcrow and the Nova, like I did in that mission, right? Um, those mechs go down, and we're stuck with four, and we're stuck with four light mechs, pretty much. Um, so now the problem then becomes. We're going to be taking really, really simple missions until we can get a medium mech somehow. And it becomes boring for people who are watching. Maybe not. Maybe not everybody. Uh, I know it does become boring for me that, that's playing, um, trying to advance. So one of the reasons why, I, like I said, why I re-rolled um, was because, you know, it would hurt the series. The second reason um, why I re-rolled the mission um, was if, let's say, I did continue on, if we had lost another mech at that point, um, which Standing with by. being in clan space is highly likely, we would pro we could lose another mech very, very simply. Uh, all it takes is a, uh, a bad uh, um, opposition lance and then we're screwed, right? So if we lost another mech, we'd be down to three. And while three mechs in the inner sphere um, isn't so bad, being out here in clan space, it's a little harder to be able to do anything. So if you want to get good gear, you got to take clan missions. And then Commander? we're talking like a crap ton of episodes before um, 
we're able to really do anything to be able to take clan missions again. And the whole reason why we're out here is to take clan missions, right? And have fun. So that's kind of why I did it. Um, I understand people being upset about it, and I was too. Like when I uh, when I, I did debate a lot about reloading that, um, and I was like, you know, I really I really shouldn't. It's kind of like, you know, not being honest to the series and. Um, so I did debate about it a fair bit, and then I was finally like, you know what, no, I'm going to do it um, because I strongly believe that it needed to be done. Although, I, like I say, I still feel guilty about it because I, in normal solo play, I would never reload. Like, if I die, I die. That's that's it. We start over again, right? That's the beauty of the game is either you succeed or you don't, right? Um, now, that's not a knock about against anyone that does reload their games. It, it, everyone's got their own personal preference and I don't care one way or another if you reload your same mission 15 times because you're having a problem with it or you know you reload it 15 times because you want to make sure that um, you know you don't take any damage for some reason games are games you they're they're meant to be fun and you play them how you play um, but I like the well I mean this game really isn't realistic but I like the realistic or realism aspect behind it so if I die, I die. That's just the way it is, right? And as a as a uh, commander um, of a mercenary company, um, shit's going to happen, right? So you just have to deal with it. And it's just fun to see what we can do to actually deal with that. I can't move too far here. Or that guy won't come with us. Um, yeah, so that's just, you know, kind of dragging things on now because it's taking forever these guys to get up here. But yeah, that's just kind of why I did it. All right, you sit right there. Let's get these guys moving. Okay, one more turn. Anyway, it's done now, so... Can't do much else about that. Let's get up here. So we know where the enemy is technically coming from, so I'm just going to be ready for that. Yep. Uh, these two vehicles still need to move, so let's move into here, get our LRMs a little closer. So... If we do change that guy from um, the LRMs to the Streak 6s and make him a, uh, um, our recon mech, it's going to severely hamper, um, uh, man, these guys are going to show up. We better move. So we get some evasion here. Um, it's going to hamper our long range firepower, but I'm not too concerned about that because if we can see enemies, um, at a distance, yeah, it'd be nice to be able to shoot them, but I think we can take care of that with ER medium lasers and stuff. Good work, Commander. Hold this position until the package is underway. Excellent. So we do have some uh, clan ER large lasers as well, four tons, um, 40 heat, I think they are, for 60 damage. All right, um, I don't see anybody, which means they probably got some ECMs going on. Um, I'm hesitant now because we're spread out. Oh, there we go. There's one guy. Uh, which means there are two up here. Uh, so we're going to reserve. I don't want to push with just one mech up there. Stick our neck out and maybe get it chopped off. That would be pretty bad. Receiving you. So let's get a shot on this guy. Um, it's indirect. We got a good line of sight on him. Maybe for a quick strike here. Nope, he's down that hill. Not much we can really do about it. So let's just move. Move back here. We're going to fire the normal ammo. I'm going to wait till he's in direct fire range to be able to use the other ones. Don't want to waste it. And fire. So if we do lose the LRMs, I mean, we still do have the ATMs on this guy. So not so worried about that. Oh, we got another target up here. Uh, is our last vehicle? They moved up, right? Yeah, they're all here. So let's get up. Uh, let's get here. Not going to go in the trees. Let's let this guy know we're here. Commando, just fire. Just want to distract him. Waiting for orders. So I'm going to get up. If it's just a commando, there's got to be another guy up here somewhere. Yeah, what do we got here? Shamash reconnaissance vehicle. I'm going to just smash this guy. Like, look at the difference to hit. The heavy medium laser is 17, everything else is 56. And the heavy medium's in the same arm as one of the pulse lasers. Uh, let's multi target. 
Gonna put the heavy laser on B and everything else to A. Okay, I got him. Nice shot. Okay. Now the sad part about this AI is there's a mech that ends up down in here that just kind of gets trapped wandering around down here. It's kind of a pain, but it is what it is. Uh, the recon vehicle looks like. Okay, so we don't need to worry about that guy. This is a what? A generator 2C3. Let's see if we can get this commando. He's just standing there, so let's hammer him hard. Oh yeah, man. TTC, man. The targeting the targeting system now on this guy. So he's got an ITM. Sorry, IATM. Yeah, not much in there. Well, at least we stripped all his armor. Um, let's just get you up here. How badly is this guy damaged? We don't know. Kill him? Oh, we knocked him down. Okay. Solid connection on that one. It's open for a kill, but I'll take the knockdown. That way I don't have to use both mechs on him next turn. Uh, El Duce. Let's move up here. Once again, let's rain some terror on this guy. Not really terrible, but... Enough damage. What do we got moving here? Yeah, unfortunately we're not going to get some good salvage. Well, we might get some sal good salvage out of this. Depends on how quickly we kill this Gen 2C and what we can get off him. Oh, he's jumping down there, eh? Standing by. I don't even think you need to move. Let's just stand there and shoot this guy. He's pretty much done now. We don't really need anything off this commando, so let's just finish him up. That sure as hell is. Let's get you up here now. All right, Griff. Um, that is a nice, uh, juicy side shot on that guy. So this is another reconnaissance vehicle, 11 tons. And we'll fire everything on the side. Right, we had to drop one ER medium, that's right, in order to get this targeting computer in, but... As far as I'm concerned, if we can hit more with the lasers we do have in, um, dropping one isn't a problem. Come on, guys. Get the hell out of here. Why are you going so slow now? Probably because we don't have anybody over there. Come on. You're thinking about it. Should be able to smoke these two guys next turn. What is all this stuff? Oh, the pods. Bet you they're pods. Yeah, we're not close enough to them right now. Waiting for orders. Copy that. Uh, I think it's got to be this guy. I don't want him firing on us. Let's go with the HE. And dump everything into him. Roger that. Nice. Lost a bunch of stuff off him, but we're almost done here. All right, Griff. Um, yeah, man. Let's target this guy and fire. Excellent. Enemy unit destroyed. All right, we'll be able to pull off another mission today. So let's get uh, blockade sprint down here, man. See if we can get these guys out of here. Going full throttle. Commander? Roger. Venting heat. You vent that heat. Stabilizing. Engaging coolant system. Let's 
get these guys out of here. Almost done. Standing by. Copy that, Commander. There it is, folks. Let's take another mission. Trying to keep the Steel Viper dream alive. Mission successful. All right, payment increased by 20%, which is not bad. I mean, 27. I don't know if we're even going to be paying this out as repairs because we did so well. Um, half decent experience. I'm not even going to look so we didn't take any damage, I don't think. Um, all right, lots of generator uh, three, or two C parts and two V. Um, ER mediums. Where are those pulse lasers? There aren't even in here, are they? Oh, there's four. We can take four. But we're here for cash, too, so let's have a look. Clan 2CR um, case. That's a good possibility. We've been talking about adding case. Artemis fire control system, which I don't think we need. We've already got one. Don't need this one right now. Guardian ECMs would be nice for all of the mechs, but we don't think we need that right now. So we have to take stuff out to put them in. Uh, double heatsink kit we don't need. Clan double heatsinks we do need, but not right now. TTS weapons plus two accuracy. That's another thing that we would need. So let's grab this guy. Um, I think we're missing a lower arm too. God, as much as I don't want to take a lower arm, I'm tempted with the plus one to hit. We lost it off of the um, the Grinner. So maybe we get lucky and get it in the roll, but I think what we need to do is grab um, at least two of these. At least two. Uh, SRM4 streaks. Now we do have a couple of streaks. We got two of these already. Um, this is kind of nice, but I think clan armor already gives us the regular case, does it not? I'm pretty sure it does, but we need case two if we're going to do it. It requires clan armor, uh, enhanced imaging, plus one accuracy, minus one recoil, plus four initiative. Take pilot damage on overheat. That could be scary. Don't need the Artemis. Guardian ECMs. Uh. <laughs> Please don't laugh at me. I'm going to take the lower arm. Oh. It's very sad. But we uh, that plus one to hit in the arm with two medium pulse lasers can make a huge difference. Um. Out of all this sweet stuff, I think maybe that's the way to go. We got two LBX fives right now. Clan ER smalls, ER mediums. We got lots of ER micro. Yeah, if we had tons of these, maybe, but we don't. Um, yeah, slowly but surely. Let's go this route. Okay, nice. Four Jenner pieces. I think we already have two more at home. Three light machine guns. So that machine gun loadout's getting to be a possibility soon. Uh, if we want to go that route. Medium heavy laser, narc launcher, nice. Small ER pulse laser, that's another possibility. It's only one ton. Enhanced imaging, we got it. Two heat sinks which we can sell. So we, I think we did okay on that one. Okay, we are surrounded. Of course we are. 260. That's nothing. Our pile's going to take longer to come back. So six days for our pilots to come back. Let's have a look. Uh, which one are we talking about here? The Grinner. Well, we got to wait one day. Because we got to relook at that guy again. So let's have a look at the mech bays. Um, so the Grinner. Did I? I got a feeling I moved a lower arm actuator from somewhere else. No, I didn't. Okay, so this guy only takes the lower arm. Uh, which is why we needed it for another plus one to hit in there. Let's have a look now heat wise. So if we pull the medium heavy laser, 35 heat, and we drop in the medium pulse again, we could pull a heat sink. And what are we at now? That's way better. Okay, so we're going to go that route. Uh, I had to jam another heat sink and stuff in here to get that uh, medium heavy laser to be relatively heat efficient. Uh, so let's go that route. We're going to confirm this. Actually, hang on a second. We can't get that. So we got a far. I moved the the um, FCS energy pl double plus 
to a different Mac. Um, do we have that won't work with that. We need a, a clan. Uh, oh, I didn't move it to a different mech. I thought I did. So we could swap this out or um, we got the enhanced imaging, didn't we? Where are you? Oh, here we go. So if we drop that, we can't drop that in. The Guardian ECM needs to move. Uh, let's just drop that in. Uh, where are you here? Where does that go? It replaces the sensors. Um, so if we do that, then this would fit in, but I think it's like three tons. Yeah, I'm thinking we hang, we're not going to do it that way. I'm going to leave the armored cowl in there. Let's leave the ECM back in the center there. So we're going to leave it like this, I think, except we're going to swap out the uh, energy give them a little bit of extra range. I think it increases by what? 10%? Not bad. And extra crit chance. So I think that's this Grinner is going to really benefit from that uh, that east that um, TTS. Okay, so the adder we're going to leave for now. It, we have, I pulled heat sinks out of it, so that's the only reason why it's like this. Um, I don't think we need to add anything else. Maybe the Nova. What do we got in the Nova here? Got a standard fire control system, so let's add in the go to equipment. Let's add in because we do have a couple of energy weapons in here. Let's add this in to give a bonus to the medium pulses. Um, yeah, I think that's all we can do here. Uh, yep, yeah, let's confirm that. Now I did move the um, ammo into the legs here until we get case two, but uh, I don't have a ton to spare right now on this guy, so. Just leaving it this way. Let's confirm this. And I think that's it. So let's just... Uh, so we're going to need to take something for some C-bills here. So let's have a look. Contracts. So, well, that's not going to give us C-bills. But it could give us some good salvage, but 1 of 7 is not really good enough. There's a bunch of... I don't want to take missions for Clan Wolf, but we're eventually going to have to. Payroll seizure against the planetary government. I don't want to take these low-level BS contracts. Assassinate mission. Member of the Wolfie and Chain in Command. All right, let's do this. We're going to take both of these. We'll do payroll seizure and uh, weakest link, but we're going to do weakest link first because I think we'll take the least amount of damage here. Uh, let's get enough to just cover our drop costs because this is Clan Wolf. We might pick up an XL engine or uh, who knows. We'll pick up something here maybe. So let's deploy and get this done. All right, here we go. So what I'd like to find someplace along the way is a beagle probe so we're going to keep our eyes open for that uh let's just smash straight through this lance um stay behind some cover for the first turn i just want to wreck these guys and get right up that hill what do you need? i got a bad habit of staying in the open or staying in the low ground far too much so i gotta kind of break that there's been a few times when i've tried to push hills and then just got smashed from the top. Had to bail out. But I think at this one I don't have to worry about it too much. Depends on what that main uh, mech is right now. It is against Clan Wolf, so we can take them down a peg here. Alright, Griff, let's um, see what we're up against if we can. Not there. Here, maybe. Okay. Four vehicles. Yeah. What do we got here? Shamash. Bellona, Peggy, two Peggies. I guess I can't target them because I can't see them. Okay, sure. We do have LRMs and ATMs, so we can use those. Commander. All right, Birdie. Um. Oh, well.
Let's get some evasion ships going here. Some chevrons. Um, Chevron James. Let's take the Bellona out. Bellana. Bellana Torres. Let's fire at this guy. He's got an AC-10 on him, so... Ah, it's heavily armored. Can we get up there? We can't get up there, but we can definitely target him. Copy that. With the lerms. Dropping lerms on his fat ass. Nice. Good to go. Let's not give them a direct line of fire. And since this is going to be a short engagement, we're going to go with the uh, HE rounds on this guy and fire. Yeah, he's got some strength there. No idea what he's got left though. So these guys are just harassers, not really worried about them. It's this AC-10 that I'm worried about. That's just money. It's a money pit if we if he's hitting us. Looks like the boss has moved up. And he's not firing, which means he's probably got mostly medium weapons. Or maybe he can't see us. That would be very strange because my ECM's over here and the rest of my lance is over here. <laughs> Although these guys do have one ECM, it's not that uh, not that effective, but still. Come on guys, what are you doing? You're backing up, eh? Don't blame you, man. Enemy detected. Oh, it's an Ultra. We do have an Ultra 10, I think. Right now, I just don't see any value to big weapons at all. Even the LBX, we had a pair. We got a pair of LBX fives, and I tried to load them on the Adder or the Cougar, just to try and see if we could make it work. But just six tons each plus ammo, it's just not going to make it work. You're better off with LRMs or streaks at that point. They don't do as much um, for the range, but uh, definitely better. Okay, let's see. This guy's got a rear target shot. 22%. Yeah, there's our target right here. Let's see if we can deal some heavy damage to this guy. Not bad. Okay, actually really good. Enemy unit destroyed. This guy's primarily damaged on the other side. He's taking a lot of damage though. Where'd that tiny piece of the shamash? Did we kill it already? No, we didn't. Where the hell did he go? It's a Jenner. Crap. Well, actually, not crap. We actually might pick up another Jenner. If it's just a regular Jenner? No, it's our... Uh, it might be the friendly neighborhood 2C Jenner. Ready for orders. Let's get some direct fire here. Uh, one thing I learned to playing games yeah. online, I always got to kill the ads first and then kill the boss. So let's try and do this. Oh my god, that's horrible chances to hit. What about this guy? That's better. Let's finish this guy up. Not quite enough. Standing by. Hi, right, Birdie. Roger, Skipper. Taking it. Hoping for a side hit there. Ultra AC destroyed, okay. Scored a critical hit. You did. Totally did. Yeah, so there's a comment in the comment section that they should allow for elementals riding mechs. That'd be kind of neat as a support weapon. For close range support. Elemental attack. Either that or at least... Um, have a group of uh, five elementals working as one that you could uh, reuse it in place of a mech. So if someone's listening, that's kind of what I want to see that can happen.
Okay, we should be protected by the ECM now. Storm Crow's kind of in the center, so we should be okay down here. Well, relatively okay. We could wheel back this way and attack the Jenner, but I think we should still move this way. Come on, what are you doing, buddy? Bring it. Come on. It's getting rained on by snow here. I thought that Ultra was destroyed. I guess it's not. It was a ruse. Okay, what do we got? What can we shoot out here? This guy's turned his side. That's better chances to hit. Yeah, I don't know what that's the 2C version. I don't think so. Let's go after this guy. That should do it. Apparently not. I opened my mouth, that's why. Gotta learn to stay quiet. Yeah, my moves are so complex, I just can't figure out what to do. That's what it is. What's he up to? I have no idea. We can't move because I don't know what's going on. Ow! A lot of MGs. I'm taking internal damage. Wow, three of his machine guns jammed though. Spoilers. Wow, this guy's got uh fifteen percent. Fifteen percent, twenty with the pulses. Oh that's better right there. Not much better, but a little bit better. Let's get in here. Just Got it. Go over the rough terrain, because we need to do that. And let's fire on this guy. 25% chance with the HEs. Let's do it. I was going to wait, but I don't think we can. He's going to get some head hits soon, and I don't want that. Um, I think you need to silence that AC if we can first with this guy. Let's go on this AC. Okay, that's that guy gone. That one's gone. Isn't that what I just said? I just said that, didn't I? Alright, walk into here. Order acknowledged. Okay, still not bad. We do have another pulse laser left over, so if we lose this one. Your target is bugging out, Commander. Get it before it gets to the LZ. Come on, guys. What are you doing? I got another mission to run here. Let's, let's go. Got some payroll to steal. Come on. Just a Pegasus. Our target is of course he is. Point. But he ain't going anywhere. Let's see if we can make him unstable or maybe lose an arm here or something or a torso firing. Okay, there's the arm. Should be a good amount of machine guns. Two of them anyway. He's going full speed. You ain't going anywhere, buddy. Crap, that guy can move some... <laughs> He's got some pretty damn good moves there. Jesus. Yes, Commander. Can you get eyes on him? Nope. Oh, maybe. Double time. Let's go. 
There he is. Okay, let's see if we can take him down. So torso. Scored a critical hit. <sighs> yes, Commander. Location confirmed. Okay, so apparently I can fire hot loaded. No, I actually have to have it. Uh, someone mentioned that I could switch it to hot loaded ammo. Only if I've got it, I guess. Unless I'm doing it wrong here or something. Yeah, oh well. Good chances to hit. Never mind. We're not going to the evac zone. Are you kidding? We got some more stuff to kill here. It's the other side that's damaged. Oh, he's only got 66 on this side. We might be able to. Well, we got a good chance to hit, so we'll probably be able to kill him, I think. Well, there's four hits, but I don't think it we wanted. Come on. Okay, one more turn, we should be able to finish these guys. See what this Pegasus does. This guy should go down quickly, I think. We'll get Griff on him next turn. So I'm like liking the targeting computer in the Storm Crow. It's making those ER mediums worth it. Where's that guy going? Receiving you. Don't make me chase you. Come on. I want to go home. All right. Okay, that guy's gone. Reporting. Enemy vehicle. Waiting for orders. Okay, Duce. Can we get direct line of sight on this guy? Wow, nowhere, eh? Understood. Moving fast. Let's not give him any room to move here. Fire. Ah, two with a ten percent chance to hit, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's that's pretty good chances to hit. There we go. Great, we can get out of here now. Enemy unit destroyed. Ah, oh, we gotta run it out of here. Are you kidding me? I'm here. It's because these vehicles are left on the ground. Copy that. I think I read somewhere that it's not causing issues, so they're not we're not worried about fixing it right now, but they got to because if it means that, well, they don't have to, but if it means yeah. that we've got to run it out of every single I copy. Um, assassinate mission like this, it's going to make it painful. So my suggestion, it would be, once all the major things are taken care of, perhaps to look at that. Wow, just gonna blow by me on that cliff, eh? Nice. So while we're running out of here, I got a question for you guys. We're gonna do another mission after this one, but I've got a question for you guys. What do you, what kind of features do you want to see in Rogue Tech? I mean, I got kind of my ideas, but I like to hear what you what you guys think. I mean, I think that would be kind of cool. Someone meant, I don't remember who it was. Someone mentioned in the comments it'd be nice nice to have like a cluster of elementals on one of your mech. One of your mechs. Um, that would kind of be neat. Or even just running with elementals as a group. I know they've got uh, Lady Electus Power Armor. Not really a big fan of that mod, so I don't use it. Um, I think it's just more so because they're annoying and they're so simple to kill. I mean, they're hard to hit, but you know, you hit them once or twice and they're done. So it doesn't really add any power to a lance, and you're not really going to use power armors, so that's why I don't use it. But I mean, having elementals as like a weapon system would be kind of cool. Yep. A um, couple of other things I'd like to do, uh, or like to see done, is a modification to um, the mech bays. 
and how the repair is done in the mech bays. Um, and in association with that, I'd like to see the um, uh, drop um, lances when you're doing missions. I'd like to see like per mech bay. So if you've got like, let's say three different lances and you've got them in three different mech bays, the three mech bays should show up in your drop list when you go to perform a mission and you just choose which bay you want with your mechs already ready to go with the pilots in them. So you don't always have to mix and match pilots. Just a thought. Copy that. I was going to do a whole elaborate like video on it with like animations and everything to show how it works but yeah I'm just it's the time and everything I spent at home and I don't really like doing work at home so so I do at work so <laughs> I don't want to be doing it at home too but yeah anyway so let's see what we get here another Jenner part um, I should just grab the Jenner part we do need cash though uh, oh yeah another exchanger excellent that's something we can definitely use Guardian ECM maybe I'll just grab a fusion core and sell it but then again there's like well specialty ammos but not a lot ultra 10 ammo we do have an ultra 10 but no ammo not that we're going to use it right now so I don't really need that um, another enhanced imaging system this core is how, worth how much 1.4 uh, we got case 2 as well right I think we need the sea bills more than anything right now so let's grab this because we've only got one more mission I think we can do before the end of the month so we want to be able to sell that let's confirm all right ER medium two machine guns two medium lasers which we can sell SRM 6 we can sell and yeah, a little bit of ammo not bad all right 10,000 repairs not bad five days it's enough to get our pilots back so let's just quickly burn through that Okay, so as I was saying, what I would like to see is a bit of a separation in the mech bays. So uh, you've got your three bays, right? And each time you add a bay on it, obviously, will be the same thing. But the first four slots, because you can move stuff around in your bays now, uh, and it supposedly will stay there. Um, what I suggest is the first four slots are the basically the mechs that you're going to employ in a battle and these last two are basically maintenance slots which the, the mechs don't have actually quick access to leave the uh, dropship or get or board the dropship to go and the same thing so there would be a separation here and these two here uh, slots would also have a number above them which so each mech space got a hundred percent speed to repair stuff right so what I propose is that each of these slots would be considered repair slots which you could have a slider on so this slot could have 100% and this slot could be 0 or 50-50 so you can repair them at the same time. Um, and then if you had a second mech bay, which for instance, like let's say this is like working at 100% or whatever, you can apply that number up here. So it becomes more so um, where your technicians are allotted to. Uh, so each of these, would, I know it's kind of, it seems redundant, but it really isn't. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second here. So you could apply where you want like which mechs to get repaired first, second, third here, as opposed to having to go up here and manage your tasks and move mechs up and down and all that. You would just do it right here, right? So you would say, I would like the adder to be at 100% repair. Or if we got the griffin in, the griffin will be at 25 and the adder will be at 75. I want this guy kind of repaired, but I want this guy to be repaired more. So even if you've only got one mech bay, you can still repair two mechs at a time um, based on the number of techs you have, like technicians, right? Um, so that would be my thought and just divide this and then when you go into the command center so if you go to do take another contract here and let's just take oh my god the uh, here he is payroll seizure we're gonna take this one uh, planetary government we should be okay at two skulls so um, I think we're gonna go this route well Let's go two of ten. We've got a we got a, a fusion core to sell, which is a couple hundred thousand already. So let's go this route. All right. So now when you come into this screen, right, there would be 
three of these set up. You can make them smaller, obviously, but three of these set up, you know, mech bay one, mech bay two, mech bay three, and you just select a radio button one, two, and three. And that way, if you had lots of pilots, you could apply the pilots to the individual mechs. And then when you go in, right, if you change this, your mech order already in your uh, mech bay, the mech order would change here and the pilots would stay the same. So you could just switch your pilots around. Or if you leave your mechs in the same order, always in the mech bay, then the pilots will always be loaded in for those mechs. But if you've got two lances, right now you have to flush all these guys out and bring everything new in. Whereas if you just would select the second mech bay, then the mechs for that second mech bay would show up and the pilots that were slotted into slots one, two, three, and four would show up. So it would just be an instant switch between the two. That's kind of how I would handle it. Um, I know the original base game, you're only intended to use one lance and all that stuff, but if you're like to use multi lances like I do, that would be super fast and super easy to, well, not easy to do, but super easy for the person that wanted to go back and forth between the two. It's just a, a slice of life kind of thing. It just makes your life a little easier, but I mean, it's obviously not 100% needed. But anyway, let's deploy this and get this sucker done. Okay, let's steal this shiz and get out of here. Standing by. Um, let's use this position as a fire position. Sounds good. Hope, hope you guys were able to follow what I was talking about there. That, uh, I kind of got it set up in my head, but sometimes I've explained things aren't, aren't, uh, isn't quite there. But it would be kind of, it would be kind of nice, like if your mech bay is operating at 100% efficiency, if you have two mechs, like really it should be down to the number of technicians you have working on the mech, which is your 100%. So if you send a third of your technicians to work on one mech and two thirds to work on the other, you could do two mechs at a time, right? Because really, I mean, it, that, that just to me makes perfect sense. I don't understand why, if you have 100% efficiency in one mech bay, why you just couldn't spread them out between all of the mechs and do them all at once. But I know it's just a game thing. But it's also just a thought. Because I was just thinking too, like, if you, like, for instance, our pilots could take six days to come back because they're fatigued. Um, but if you had a mech that needed to be repaired in four days, right, with, and you only had one mech bay, and then you had a second mech that you were working on that needed to be repaired in 10, um, rather than having the, having the four days go first and then the 10 next, right, if you're not going to use that second mech, but uh, if you have to wait six days anyway for your pilot, just put 66% 60, of your crew on that first mech so it comes back in six days, to coincide with when your pilots come back and then use the other 33% to work on the other mech um, so it can get partially repaired in the same amount of time. That's just kind of how I see it. That's why I think it would be kind of cool to do it that way. Just gives you a bit more flexibility in your repairs. Whereas now you're dependent on the number of mech bays you have. Okay, this is supposed to be local government, and I'm not picking anybody up. Commander, full speed, no target. Commander, I copy. Hmm. Waiting for orders. Well, it was kind of a sound idea to come around this way, but. Maybe they're waiting for me to steal it, and then they're going to drop in? Aye, aye. Affirmative. But I'm here mostly for the money, so... I just steal it and bug out. Okay, Griff, let's go get it. Oh, there we go. Something in the back. Chariot, 10 tons. Standing by. Maybe we just outflanked him. Or maybe they got one hell of an ECM. Yep. All right. Full 
See anybody? It's kind of freaking me out a little bit. Okay. I think the local government is uh, having a problem with their finances that they can't field any more than a ten-ton chariot. You gotta have more than that around here. Okay, here they are. Um, is it just that guy? Wow, the, uh, this is a two skull mission. How can this be a two skull mission? What's up with this? Where is everybody? Going full throttle. I want some shiz, man. I'm not going to get anything out of this. All weapons, fire. I mean, we did take crap salvage, but still, it's like. Just want to move towards the uh, escape here. Wow, this is so bad. Enemy unit destroyed. That's it? This was two skulls, guys. Mission successful. What the hell would just happened? Like honestly, what just what just happened there? That was two skulls. Did the government just like have not have any money to field anything? I don't even know what to say to that. Oh, okay, we'll take that for sure. Maybe just a regular, I don't know. Not gonna take these ECMs. Medium rifle ammo. Thunderbolt 15 ammo. Or we take the internal combustion for a cell. It's like 32,000. Another tag. either the tag or the internal let's just well we can always make more money take the tag while we can wow I don't even know what to say we got the ECM half a ton more than we want but all right that is so bizarre Let's see if we've affected this planet in any way. Probably not. Still like 100% clan wolf. Really? Well, yeah, not much we can do about it, unfortunately. But we're going to be moving here. Uh, I believe this is the, um, yeah, it's the half skull planet. 15 days. Well, 75,000. 21 days to here. This is Clan Wolf, but I think we should move to a um, Smoke Jaguar world. We are working against Clan Wolf, so probably going to do that. Um, any other contracts pop up here? Or are we still... Uh, that was the repost. Let's, let's do that one before we leave then. Sorry, this is just a weird episode. That was just a weird mission. I don't even know what to say to that. Let's make sure we got enough money here. Um, let's go right to gear. And let's sell. Uh, sorry. The 215. Let's sell that. Sell the 185 we just picked up. So we got enough. And then we've got... Um, yeah. These three heat sinks we can just sell. Can't use any of them. And a double heatsink kit, which we can't use, but we're going to hang on to in case we get an inner sphere mech. Or a non clan mech, that is. We'll probably use that. We got the clan double heatsinks we can use, but this exchanger is definitely going to be put to good use at some point. All right, let's take that repost contract and see what that gives us here. 
Where are you? Let's go full salvage. We're going to take a hit in cash, but uh, let's see what we can get off these guys. And let's, wow, well, we gotta wait for our pilots, right? Keep forgetting that. We got six days to wait. All right, let's finish this contract up and then we can get off this planet. And then next episode, we'll be over with the Smoke Jaguars, see what we can do with them. Uh, we go one five or one, let's go one seven. We might, we might find some good stuff here, you never know. All right, let's get this sucker done. Okay, let's hope for the best on this one. One skull shouldn't be too, too bad. They want an honorable fight, eh? Well, as long as they don't bring two lances, sure. Uh, this one's always tricky for me. It's pretty much going up this way to get the height advantage, I think. And then taking the next hill up, up in front of this one. Like up in here, taking this hill with the forest in it, if we can. Ready for orders. Il Duce. What do you need? So let's hope this one goes quick. On my way. Double time. Be nice if we can get a beagle probe out of this. I'm hearing a vehicle. This is, I think, the first series that I've actually played with and kept and retained the original Mech Warriors that uh, we were given. Normally I, I swapped them out, but in this case we needed the extra um, experience. Rolling. I'm going to be able to brace here. Locust, okay. Maybe he's got a beagle probe. And hopefully I don't destroy it. I'm prone to doing that. Mad Cat. Ooh, well, hello there. We want this hill sooner rather than later. Mad Cat 3, can tear this 55 ton? I thought Mad Cats were 75 tons. Kintaro's always run hot. Let's fire on this guy. Waiting for orders. I want to try and remove this guy from the battle. Clan Locust, it's got like a lot of armor. Oh, this might not be a good place to stand, but. Got the height advantage. Let's try and knock him out. Firing. I'm gonna knock you out. Maybe not today. Let's just hope it's one lance. I want to get Mockingbird up here first. 50 ton, 5 ton Mad Cat, huh? MC3. Interesting. Come on, where are you going? You know you want to move forward and scout us out. That's good. That's good too. Piranha. Okay, not so bad. Wait a minute. That means there's two lances. Because I heard a vehicle moving. Shit. Standing by. Let's bring some swift Wait, deaths to these guys over here. Sir. 
69, 63. This one's better. Let's see if we can finish this. Oh, he's got almost nothing left in the CT here. So let's just go after this guy then. Strip his armor. We should be able to finish this guy up, I think, with missiles and stuff. Yeah, he's barely got anything left there. Probably lost a lot of arms. Arm damage there. Oh, he's gonna melee. 34. Yeah, man, these things look awesome. I love the look of the Mad Cats. I'm just shocked he's only that he's like that lightweight. Not bad. Even better. I don't think we can kill the piranha though. Sixty, he's got really good back armor. But I'm thinking if this guy gets a chance, we're only doing 19 damage on him. Wow. Uh, let's go after the piranha then. That's scary. So we should be able to kill the Locust and the Prana. Yeah, he's got streaks. Is that all you've got? Don't say things like that. We need to get the F out of here. Maybe we get them both. Let's find out. Nope. Gotta kill these guys fast now then. Sure hope this works. Uh, rolling the bones. Let's see what happens. Okay, we got that guy. Just looking for some damage on this guy. Okay, some excellent damage on that guy. And he bailed. Okay, so that's those two gone. This mad cat's overextended now. Oh, and Duce goes first. Let's give him the what for, buddy. Jam by ECM, but that's fine. Am I just mistaken about the weight of these? I'm sure Mad Cats are 75 tons. Do you guys know in the lore, the MC3, where is that from? Oh, you're gonna do this, are ya? I'll take the 34 rather than you shooting all the other stuff at me. So rear left, CT a little bit. Crap. 
ATMs, man. Critical hit. I saw that. that I think he's more dangerous than the uh, Mad Cat. <sighs> okay. Good to go. That's not good. Get our left side of that Kentaro. I know I'm returning our back to the guys back here, but I can't see them yet, so I'm not that. I mean, I'm worried, but not that worried. All weapons. We're not going to kill that uh, mad cat, but we can certainly make this guy drop a load in his pants. He's got good back armor, though. Fire it all. Ah, getting there. LBXs. Hopefully we can go before the Mad Cat. Well, the Kintaro would be definitely better to go before because then I can get back here and shoot him. Receiving you. Hmm. Keep the left side of that other guy. I think I blocked my mech in here. Okay, if he doesn't go, we should be able to kill him. He's completely unstable now. Hopefully we can go before him with the ATMs. Wait, what? Weird. Can't actually see his back from there. All right, fire it all. Make sure they can't get around behind us. Because damn. We don't have enough for uh shit. I don't have enough for vigilance. Okay, that guy's gone. Oh, at least he fired at the Stormcrow. It would definitely would have knocked the Nova down. Oh. Reporting. Major armor. 
her loss. This is not a walk in the park. Once this guy goes down, then we'll be all right. They're moving really slow back here. Here it comes, buddy. Here's the fuck you. Waiting for orders. And here's the other half of that F you. Jade Falcon, baby. Commander. Wolf Clan is think they've won this war against Falcon. They're sorely mistaken, because we ain't dead yet. Waiting for orders. Move order received. Nah, no bother. Commander? Let's get our stability back. Let's get ourselves back up and running here. And do a bit of hit and run here in a minute. Let's get the ECM up where it's useful. That should protect all of us here, I think. See what they do. Aye, aye, holding. I'm here. Il duce. Let's do what we do best. Kill shit. Attack and destroy. Attack and destroy. One more for the track heat. What do you need? Just playing it safe now. Now they got one more vehicle back there. Engaging coolant system. It's going to reserve. This is reserve. Standing by. Move into position. Stabilizing. Sounds like they've only got one vehicle left. Yeah, they do. Sixty seven percent. Okay. Um, what do we got here? Oh, we can see him too. Another Zora. All Ready for orders. Let's hopefully we can hope we can finish this off. Commander. Rolling. It's gonna stay in the woods just in case we don't finish him off. There we go. Nicely done, guys. Frag the vehicle. Took a little longer than I thought it was because it was an extra lance, but not bad. All right. Increased by 20%, but we'll have to pay out a bunch. That's fine. We were here for the salvage anyway. So we took a little bit of internal damage. Um, like, this stuff got damaged, but we can... That's relatively simple repair. I think it's free, pretty much, so... All right. What do we get here? We got one item. 
ATM sixes are nice. Um, case two. Fuel cells are how much? 2.25. That could be cash right there. If we don't get anything else, we can look to getting that. Um, XL gyro would still be nice. Watchdog suite. Um, active sensor probe. Increase sensor range, increase sight range, minus fifty percent, reduce signature on enemy sensors. Um, we're jumping systems, and I hate to say this, I want the Beagle probe more than anything. So let's take the XL engine and we'll sell it. That's like nine hundred thousand right there, and see what else we get here. All right, one locust part. Uh, two LBX-5, so that gives us four of these now. Two medium pulses, awesome. And some LBX-5 slug ammo. Okay, cool. That's actually not not too bad. All right. 137,000. Yeah, so we took a couple hundred thousand loss on this one, but the XL engine more than uh, definitely pay, uh, pays for that. So let's go to the store real quick and we'll sell that so we can jump systems here. So the Clown XL 100, 974,000, just sell that right away. Nice. 1.5 million is enough for a couple of months and some repairs. So I think what we're going to do with this Cougar, once it comes back, uh, is we are going to go the SRM and probably medium pulse lasers on this guy uh, and make it the scout mech. So uh, I think we'll get rid of those LRMs. Um, yeah, I think SRM 6s, or we have a couple of SRM 4s. We got like three medium pulse lasers now. We got a bunch of stuff we can add to it. I think we'll make it a little bit more punchy. Um, but uh, we'll do that. I'll probably do that between missions as we're on our way back to the next planet or on our way to our next planet. Um, get these other mechs back as well. Shouldn't take too, too long to get them back. Um, these guys will be back quickly. So they should all be back before we get to the next planet. All right, guys, that was a long episode. We're going to leave it there. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you like it, drop a like. If you've got any suggestions, as I was saying earlier, for things you'd like to see, um, uh, changes you'd like to see in Rotec, I'd like to hear about them and just see what would make the game even better. Um, yeah, so uh, until next time, we'll see you all later.